Get all nice and comfy in your bed. And let's just relax for a bit, shall we? Take a deep breath in and out. Take a few more deep breaths in and out. In and out. Feel as your body relaxes when you exhale. Feel all of your body engage in the process of breathing in and out. Each exhalation allowing you to relax further. And just letting yourself be limp and comfortable and heavy as you should be for time to sleep after all so just keep breathing in and out now I want you to focus on feeling your feet and feeling as I describe how they just start to feel more heavy and limp and relaxed and the feeling slowly moves up into your calves completely relaxing them loose limp relaxed this relaxation creeps up into your thighs and all of your legs just become completely relaxed and heavy like they're sinking into the mattress now this relaxing feeling starts going up into your torso slowly relaxing every muscle making everything feel heavy and limp and relaxed like all the energy is just fading away like all you can do is relax now as this feeling climbs up in your upper part of your torso and into your arms up to your fingertips as you relax every muscle every piece of tension just slipping away relaxing completely getting heavier and heavier and it slowly starts creeping up into your neck up into your face as you feel yourself dropping and relaxing completely because there's no need to think all you have to do is relax entirely feel how your body has become so heavy that you can't move you don't want to move because relaxing feels so nice and you know that you want to sleep that you need to sleep you know that when your mind is able to turn off completely without thoughts without distractions with just my voice in your head you know that you'll be able to rest and feel refreshed tomorrow when you wake up but for now it's just gonna turn off your mind is gonna be blank your body is gonna be heavy and the only thing that's going on in your head 
It's just going to be relaxing. Just my voice echoing in your head. Just my voice and my words swirling around in your mind. Slowly telling you to relax further and sink deeper and deeper and deeper. Because there's no tension left in your body. Every single one of your muscles is just completely relaxed. And as I count down from ten, you'll just find yourself going even deeper and deeper and deeper. Each number will just allow you to sink further into my voice. Each number allowing your body to relax even further like you're sinking into the bed. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, and 1, completely relaxed, completely blank, no thoughts, just blissful, mindless, empty, as you should be. Because good pets don't need to think. Good pets just need to submit and worship and obey. And that's all you hear in your mind, in my voice. Submit, worship, obey. And your mind is going to keep sinking with each repetition of those words, submit, worship, and obey. Because you know that you enjoy doing those things. You know that doing those things feels so good and wonderful. They feel right. They feel natural. Like it's your purpose to submit, and worship, and obey. And who do you submit to? Who do you worship? Who do you obey? You do all those things for your goddess. Your beautiful, divine goddess. With a divine voice that echoes in your head. With every word whose influence can sink deep into your mind. As you go deeper with each word, as each suggestion goes deeper and deeper and deeper. And all you hear are those words, submit, worship, and obey. And you know that those words are what you are meant to do. Are what you're supposed to do for your goddess. After all, that's what people do with divinity, isn't it? They worship them. They admire them. They do anything they can to serve and please their deity. And that's what you do. You submit and you worship and you obey your goddess because you know that that's your purpose. You know that that gives you pleasure. Hearing those words in your mind gives you pleasure. Hearing those words echoing constantly in your empty little head feels right feels natural 
Like they're supposed to be there. Like you don't quite remember what it was like not having those lovely words echoing in your head. Like all you want to do is submit and worship and obey. Because what else would you do for your goddess? It wouldn't make sense not to do those things, would it? Because you live to obey and you live to submit and you want to be a good pet. You live to be a good pet. Even just seeing or reading the suggestion that you're a good pet fills you with happiness, with pleasure, as it should. You should be proud to be a good pet because it feels wonderful and because it shows devotion and it shows submission and that's what you want to submit to worship to obey to have these words constantly echoing in your head for your goddess because that's what you love doing for your goddess is submitting and worshipping and obeying that's your favorite thing to do because it gives you purpose because it feels so wonderful it feels satisfying it feels complete it feels right you should serve your goddess you should submit to your goddess you should worship your goddess and you should obey your goddess that just makes sense it feels right it feels good that's what you're meant to do that's what you love doing that's what you've always loved doing you love admiring your goddess in my pretty eyes in my pretty voice and you swear that you could stare into those dark deep eyes forever and that you could have my voice in your head for hours and hours and hours just echoing the same three words into your mind submit Worship and obey because it feels so wonderful. It feels so good. It's what you want. It's what you always wanted to serve a pretty goddess, to submit to a pretty goddess, to worship. A divine woman to obey and be a good pet to be owned as a good pet to know that you serve someone someone beautiful someone with power someone divine <laughs> You know that that's what you've craved is to be good and submissive and obedient because it's easier to obey. It's easier to just completely let go and let someone else's words, someone else's suggestions echo in your head instead. To not have to think at all because pets don't need to think. To just allow someone else to be the center of your world for a while. To allow yourself to have a purpose. To allow yourself 
to submit to someone, to worship someone, and to obey someone, to give your power to someone who you think deserves it. Like me. <laughs> like your goddess. Pretty, divine goddess. With eyes like black holes that suck you in. Eyes that you just can't help but get caught in. Eyes that you lose hours and hours staring into. Eyes that just become your entire world while you're caught. And it's just so difficult to even think about looking away from them. Because they're so beautiful. And you know that when you look in those eyes, that all you want to do is submit and worship and obey. Because that's what you're meant to do. That's what you want to do. And you want to sink deeper and deeper to my words, to my voice. And I know that you can hear those three magical words echoing in your head over and over and over, constantly in the back of your mind, submit. Worship. Obey. (laughs) Such lovely words those are. (laughs) And they feel so wonderful in your head. It feels good to know that you can serve someone. That you can please someone. It feels good to feel owned in some way. Knowing that your service pleases someone. Knowing that your worship goes to someone beautiful and deserving and kind. Knowing that you so crave and desire to be shown obedience to learn how to obey without question because you trust the other person and you trust your goddess, don't you? That's why you agree with all those lovely statements. After all, goddess is always right Goddess is always right. And you know that to be true, don't you? So when I say that you crave to submit and to worship and to obey, you know that it's true. You know that it's what you want. You know that it's what you crave. You know that it feels wonderful to admit to yourself that part of you that just wants to be a good pet that just wants to be under someone serving someone feeling their every need every whim to admire someone whose voice echoes in your head constantly whose eyes are always in your mind, in the back of your mind, watching, waiting for you to stop thinking for a moment to get caught, caught in a loop of eyes and voices, pretty dark eyes and three simple words echoing in your head, submit, worship, and obey. And you know that when you really do need to think 
for a moment? Or are there something important for you to do? You know that those things will go to the back of your mind for a while. Until you have time to relax again. Until you have time to stop. And be mindless for a moment and let the echoes take over your mind. To let my eyes capture you, enthrall you, to make sure that you want to submit and worship and obey like a good pet. Because you just love being a good pet and it feels wonderful to be a good pet, especially for your goddess. Because why wouldn't you want to be a good pet for your goddess? That's just silly. That's a silly thought. And pets don't need to think. Pets just submit and worship and obey. And you submit and you worship and you obey your goddess. Because my voice helps you relax. Because my voice feels right in your mind, feels natural in your mind. Because my voice swirls in your head and echoes constantly swirling round and around and around and around. Always in the back of your mind. And you wouldn't give that up for anything. Because my soft, sweet voice is so easy to sink into when you need to be mindless for a moment. When you need to be reminded of your place. When you need to remember what your purpose is. When you need to relax. You know that my voice is there in your head, echoing over and over and over. Submit, worship, obey. Submit, worship, obey. And those simple three words just feel so, so good. Magical, divine words. Always in the back of your mind. Always allowing you to feel submissive and obedient and eager to please your goddess. Eager to be the good pet that you know you can be. (laughs) Because you want to be a good pet. You adore being a good pet. Why wouldn't you? It's your purpose. After all, (laughs) and I know that you can just allow my voice to keep echoing in your head until it's time to wake. But until that time, you'll just keep hearing it, submit, worship, obey, submit, worship, obey. 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 Submit, worship, obey.